Hi everyone, it's Amanda here, AKA Snip Snip Bang Bang. Welcome to my channel. If you caught the last one, you knew that that was my first video. This is video number two. It is my Wonder Woman inspired tutorial. I hope everybody really enjoys it. I'm having a really good time making these. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright everyone, so I already have my foundation on and I know what you're thinking. Why can't I just wake up as beautiful as Wonder Woman every day? Well, because we're not superheroes and that's what makeup's for. So here we go. We have the NYX Hydra Touch Primer followed by the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour with Comfort Serum, color 100. And I'm also using my sponge, making sure that it's damp. So even though I've already put my foundation on, I am going back over my forehead and under my eyes to kind of make sure that the foundation has not set in any of the creases. Worst thing to have happen is to have it all creased and then set your powder. So I'm using my Get Covered and I'm placing my concealer under my eye and then I'm gonna smooth it out with my sponge. And then once that's all smooth that I'm going back over my forehead just to make sure that I didn't have any of that foundation set in. And then you see how well blended all of that is on my under eye. Oh my gosh, the e.l.f. under eyed high definition powder. Believe the hype peeps, believe the hype. It's so fine and it's great. It's so smooth and it just, I mean, I can't even put it into words. It's a superhero on its own. It doesn't create any kind of weird heaviness under your eye. So I'm putting it on my sponge and I've kind of pinched the end as you see uh, and placing that right on the under eye. It is like silk. I wanna say it's something like $3. Super cheap, you can get it at Target. Uh, some of the drugstores, not all the drugstores carry it. So I know for Target for sure. So now I'm using my Ben Nye Cameo Luxury Powder, placing that on my hand and again with my sponge, I'm going to pack that onto my forehead just to make sure that those creases that I was trying to buff out earlier don't get set. It's helped so much to smooth out my forehead. Uh, it's a nice little trick that I've learned not too long ago and then packing it in under the eye a little extra there. Nothing wrong with that to kind of bake and set. So you don't have to add extra powder on your under eye if you've already used the high definition. I myself like to add a little extra for the baking part of it, so it's totally up to you. All right, and we're already to the contour. So we are going to use the e.l.f. Contour Palette. I got it at Target for $6. Comes in four shades. There's a highlight, a regular skin tone, and two brown contour shades. I love these because they're soft, they're fine, they're not cakey, they're not patchy, which I think is really important. And I also got the e.l.f. brush. So I'm going to start with the lighter brown color and begin contouring right below the hairline of that sideburn area. And with my brush, I'm going to be turning the shade up a little bit around the apple of my cheek to really give it that high definition. And I mean, check it. You don't have to be a superhero to have these cheekbones, but check these out. I mean, they're beautiful. So let's try and mirror that. So now that I have that in, I'm gonna go to the other side. And I'm also going up towards the temple area to really kind of soften the top a little bit before we blend out the bottom half, but we're gonna also bake that as well. 
So I'm also going into the forehead and kind of swirling it with that brush. I'm gonna go back later in with a regular powder brush and kind of buff that out and blend it down a little bit. But as of right now, what I'm trying to do is really get into that hairline and create that shadow. All right, so reaching for my kind of, I guess you would say, uh, it's kind of like a mini kabuki with a longer handle. I'm going to be contouring around my nose. I've found that I actually really like this brush for contouring around the nose, and I also use it to highlight uh, the temple and my cupid's bow. So it's nice to be able to use brushes versatilely uh, and get as much use out of them as you can. So just keep that in mind with, with any brush you have. So now we have the highlight color of the contour palette and I'm going to set that in right at the temple as well as the cupid's bow and a little bit on the chin. So I know what you're thinking. Didn't we just use this palette? No, this is the bronzer palette. They come in the same packaging. So the bronzer palette has four shades. Uh, there's one that has a really pretty shimmer to it and that's what I'm gonna use on my cheeks. So I'm using a swirling motion with a blush brush that, uh, with an angle to it. You can actually just use that color if you didn't wanna use a blush. It's super pretty. It's not orangey. Uh, it looks really soft. And then I'm gonna go in with the lighter brown and work on the forehead area like I was saying before and just softening those lines and bringing that color down a little bit. And anything that I can't soften with the brush, I'm gonna go back with my sponge and smooth it all out. With the darker shade of the palette, I am going to now work on the jawline and bringing it down the neck, super important to bring that down so that you don't have a weird shadowed effect. Being sure to check out your lighting on either side when you're working on that. And now I'm taking my sponge and going through and just really buffing out those harder lines because I really don't want to look like a carved sculpture, I just want a softer feminine look, but with some striking features. So now that I've softened everything with my blender or sponge, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to go back in with my Ben Nye Cameo Powder, set my cheekbones, and also place some powder around the lips and on the chin. I'm going to be putting on a pretty slick gloss later, and I don't want it to feather or bleed. And even though I am putting on uh, a lip liner, it's still just a little extra security for myself, which I always like. All right, now it's time to use the Luminizer. I love this, it's like my favorite shimmer highlighter. And it's a really pretty champagne. You just wanna be extra careful with uh, and using your taper brush to make sure that you get the excess off because if you don't, you're just gonna have a huge chunk of shimmer on your face. So either shake it out or blow it off. And I'm going to dab it on the cheekbone and because Wonder Woman's look is so like dewy and glowy, I'm actually gonna put it all over my face. And it just looks so soft and hydrated and just has this really pretty natural glow to it. Now it's time to highlight right above the cheek there with my Light Scapade Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. Using my Mini Kabuki after I've rinsed off or brushed off my bronzer, I'm gonna highlight my cheekbone. And I mean, you want this highlight highlighted. You want the highlight 
like Wonder Woman's deflecting bullets off of her bracelets kind of bright. So don't be scared. Get it on there. Have fun with it. This light scapade is so pretty. It's super shimmery without it being like an oil slick. So I think you'd really love that one. Okay, now we're going to do use the e.l.f. cream blush. It is peach perfection. I'm using another blush brush with an angle and I'm slowly building the color into the apple of my cheek. So you can see I'm kind of doing like a half smile, just really wanting to pronounce where those the apples of my cheeks are. And then I'm taking my flat kabuki fat brush and kind of just blending it all together. Just really softening that up. So we don't know where one thing ends and the next thing begins. All right, it's brow time. So we're using the Ardell Dark Brown Brow Pomade. I got this from Sally's. And then I also got the brush with the angled tip and also the uh, brush on the end, like the mascara wand. I get questions about my brows all of the time. I used to draw them in every day and I actually have them tweezed from the middle out so I actually have no hairs from about the center of my eye out. Uh, I got tired of having to do that all the time so I went ahead and got them tattooed on but I still like to draw them on over every day. They're a little too light if I'm doing a full face. They just kind of get lost so I, I do like to add some definition. So using my angle brush I then go back with the wand part and kind of smooth those hairs out the ones that I have. And then I use the Get Covered to go under and really define the underneath of the brow. And because she has thinner brows, I actually drew them on thinner. Just to kind of give that Wonder Woman effect. I normally have my brows a little bit thicker, but I wanted to really try to recreate her look. The reason why I tweezed from the center out is because I wanted to exaggerate my arch. I didn't really like where my natural brow fell, so that's why I would take that extra half off so I could really bring that arch up on my own. I went ahead and did the other brow off camera, so it didn't take that much time, and I also we use the get covered on my eyelids and using my glow cosmetics professional eyeshadow palette I am going in with the two lightest shades and going to highlight underneath the brow bone I'm bringing that highlight color down just ever so slightly because I will be going back with a nice matte taupe to cover the rest of the lid and you'll see I'm using a thicker brush because I am covering a larger surface. That beigey taupe color goes really good. I, I like doing more matte as far as entire coverage and then if I wanna add a little bit of shimmer later, I'll do that more with accentuating colors. Once I have the entire lid covered, I went under the eye as well with that same taupe. Now using my palette, I'm using that lighter brown that I used in my last video. I use that in a base in a lot of my eye makeup. And I'm actually going to be following a different curvature. I'm not going to take the actual shape of my eye. I'm going to bring it straight across instead of following it into the inner corner. And this is actually going to make the lid appear larger and change the shape of the eye, kind of have it sunk a little bit more, which is what uh, Wonder Woman has. And then I'm just going to be blending that color up towards the brow bone, but not completely. Then I have the color pop. This is the DGAF Don't Give a Fudge in their Super Shock Shadows. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it. So I'm gonna use that right in the crease just to add that extra depth. Change the world. 
So I'm continuing to blend and I'm going back with the uh, in between the larger brush and that narrow brush to really soften that and make it seamless. Going back with the highlighter uh, and using more of a shimmer right on the lid and I'm bringing that light color directly across and that also helps emphasize that new shape that I've put in. So now that I have that, I'm taking a longer bristle brush and buffing that all out, making sure there are no weird dark spots anywhere. And with a flatter, smaller brush, I'm going to take a soft black and go under the eye. She always has a little bit of, whether it's liner or shadow under her eye, so that's what I'm copying today. And then I'm also going to go back with that color pop and blend it down even further. Just to kind of bring the whole eye together. This is the CoverGirl Brow and Liner Powder in 800. I thought I was buying a liquid liner, found out it was actually a powder with a rubber applicator, and I really like this liner because you could do a bunch of different things with it. You can line the inner part of your eye, you could make it a hard line, you can make it a soft line. Uh, there's a lot that you can do with it, so I actually decided to keep it. Um, and I am actually going to soften this line slightly, still making it look like it's lined, but I don't want it to be too hard. When you look at pictures of Wonder Woman, you can see that it's a little bit softer. So I'm taking this brush and kind of just going across the line and blending it up ever so slightly. Oh, and now it's my favorite part. These are the Ardell Wispy Lashes. I get asked about these lashes all the time. Look at the difference, without and with. You can, I mean, without's fine, but the with is just, uh, it's my favorite. So I'm using the Duo Glue and Dark. I've already used my Great Last Mascara, and I'm, I put on my tweezers, and then I place it right in the center of my eye after fanning it for about 15 seconds. And then I take the corner to the outside and then the corner to the inside and just gently place it and let it dry. Now I'm doing the liner. This is a glow liner. It's a burgundy color, kind of like a, like a deep berry, which is very similar to the gloss that I got. And all the pictures that I've seen of Wonder Woman, she doesn't really have like a bright red. She has more of a berry, like a burgundy color. So I was able to find a Revlon lip gloss color 545 that is super shiny, has a ton of pigment, and is not sticky. So it's got like all of your favorite things. And I really like the applicator brush as well. So as you can see, there's a lot of pigment in that. And if you look at her photo, you'll see like that's the reddest that I saw her lips get. And then after that, you're done. You just gotta do the hair. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this Wonder Woman tutorial. And I will put all of the things that I used on the bottom list below. I hope you guys had fun with this one. It's a really good every day, minus the giant crown, but hey, maybe you wanna rock it. So, snip, snip, bang, bang, signing out, and I will catch you guys next time. Now, if only I could find my invisible jet. I'm always losing that thing. Bye.